and a very important meeting for GHSA on Monday. They're going to talk about what is the best step to move forward with fall sports. And Alex Glaze has more on those virtual starts for high schools and what it could mean for football. With the school year rapidly approaching, school systems are deciding how learning will take place. But there's also another big decision on the table, whether or not to still have sports. Football is important to the livelihood of this school. Um, I mean, that's just facts. The Georgia High School Association has been providing guidelines for a return to sports and competition, even if school is held virtually. As long as they're enrolled in that school and that school is determining their grades and keeping their transcript at that school, then and they meet all other uh, areas of the eligibility requirements, then yes, they would be eligible. Fulton and Cobb County both announced Thursday learning would start 100% virtual this school year. Fulton is undecided about sports this fall. In a tweet, County Athletic Director Stephen Kraft said, I know everyone has questions and concerns surrounding Fulton County Schools athletics. Please be patient as we work through the current situation. Fulton County Schools will update everyone at the board meeting on July 23rd. Cobb County already made its decision. In a statement, they said the district is not postponing or delaying the start of fall athletics. We will continue to follow the direction of GHSA. So football workouts continue around the state as coaches and student athletes prepare like a season is going to take place. All we can do is, is take it one step at a time. You know, these are the guidelines today. The guidelines may shift and be a little different tomorrow.